India is home to a rich diversity of flora and fauna. With its varied landscapes and climatic conditions, India offers a unique habitat to many species of plants and animals. In this video, we will take a closer look at the flora and fauna of India. Now let's talk about Indian flora. India has a diverse range of flora, with over 45,000 plant species. The Himalayan region in the north is home to many alpine species such as rhododendrons, junipers, and conifers. The western Ghats in the south are known for their evergreen forests, which are home to many endemic species of plants such as the Malabar chestnut and the Niljairai tar. The Sundarbans Delta in West Bengal is home to the mangrove forest, which is the largest mangrove forest in the world. Here, you will find many species of mangroves such as the Sundari and the Galpada. The desert regions of Rajasthan have adapted to arid conditions and are home to many species of cacti and succulents. The Thar Desert is home to the Babul and Kedri trees, which provide shade and sustenance to many animals in the region. India's tropical climate is also conducive to the growth of many fruits and spices. Mangoes, bananas, coconuts, and pineapples are some of the fruits grown in India, while spices like turmeric, cardamom, and black pepper are also widely cultivated. India is also home to a diverse range of fauna. India's national animal is the Bengal tiger, which can be found in many national parks and wildlife sanctuaries across the country. The Indian elephant is another iconic species found in India. Elephants can be found in many parts of the country, particularly in the southern states of Kerala, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. The Asiatic lion and the Indian rhinoceros are other notable species found in India. It is a critically endangered species that is found in the Kazaranga National Park in Assam. India is also home to a rich diversity of bird life, with over 1,300 species of birds recorded. Some of the most well-known birds found in India include the Indian peafowl, also known as the peacock, the Indian roller, and the Indian paradise flycatcher. The Kialadio National Park in Rajasthan is a popular destination for birdwatchers, with over 370 species of birds found here. India's marine ecosystem is also home to a rich diversity of species. The Gulf of Manor in Tamil Nadu is home to many species of marine animals, such as dolphins, dugongs, and sea turtles. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, located in the Bay of Bengal, are home to many species of coral and reef fish. The Indian cobra is a venomous snake that is found throughout India and is responsible for many snake bite deaths in the country. These are just a few examples of the diverse flora and fauna found in India. The country is also home to many other species of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates, making it a biodiversity hotspot. Recent studies have shown that the flora and fauna of India are facing various threats due to human activities. One of the primary threats to the flora and fauna of India is habitat loss and fragmentation due to human activities such as deforestation, urbanization, and industrialization. This has led to the degradation and fragmentation of natural habitats, which in turn has affected the survival and reproduction of many species. Poaching and illegal wildlife trade are major threats to India's wildlife, especially for endangered species such as tigers, rhinos, and elephants. These activities are driven by demand for animal parts and products such as ivory, horns, and skins, which are used for various purposes, including traditional medicine and decoration. Pollution and climate change are also major threats to India's flora and fauna. Pollution from industries, vehicles, and agricultural practices is causing air and water pollution, which affects the health and survival of many species. Climate change is causing changes in temperature and rainfall patterns, which affect the distribution and abundance of species. Overexploitation of natural resources such as timber, fuelwood, and minerals is also a major threat to India's flora and fauna. This leads to the destruction of natural habitats, and affects the availability of resources for wildlife. Invasive species introduced by humans pose a threat to native flora and fauna by competing for resources and habitat, and spreading diseases. Many invasive species have already caused significant damage to India's ecosystems. It is important to address these threats and take necessary steps to conserve and protect the flora and fauna of India. 
Conservation efforts such as habitat restoration, anti-poaching measures, pollution control, and sustainable use of natural resources are necessary to ensure the survival of India's biodiversity. However, conserving the flora and fauna of India can protect it from complete destruction. This requires a multifaceted approach involving various stakeholders, including government, non-governmental organizations, local communities, and individuals. Here are some ways to conserve the flora and fauna of India. One of the most effective ways to conserve the flora and fauna of India is by protecting and restoring their habitats. This can be achieved by creating protected areas such as national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, and conservation reserves. These areas should be managed effectively to ensure that they provide suitable habitat and protection to wildlife. Poaching and illegal wildlife trade are major threats to India's wildlife. Therefore, effective anti-poaching measures should be taken to curb these activities. This can be achieved by strengthening law enforcement, increasing penalties for poaching, and creating awareness among local communities about the importance of conservation. Overexploitation of natural resources such as timber, fuelwood, and minerals is a major threat to India's flora and fauna. Therefore, sustainable use of natural resources should be promoted to reduce the pressure on these resources. Pollution is a major threat to India's flora and fauna. Therefore, effective pollution control measures should be taken to reduce pollution levels. This can be achieved by promoting cleaner technologies, enforcing pollution control laws, and creating awareness among people about the importance of reducing pollution. Invasive species introduced by humans pose a threat to native flora and fauna by competing for resources and habitat and spreading diseases. Therefore, effective control measures should be taken to prevent the spread of invasive species. Local communities should be involved in conservation efforts. This can be achieved by creating awareness among them about the importance of conservation and involving them in conservation activities such as habitat restoration, anti-poaching measures, and sustainable use of natural resources. Education and awareness are important in promoting conservation of the flora and fauna of India. This can be achieved by creating educational programs for schools and communities and promoting awareness through media and social networks. Conserving the flora and fauna of India requires a collective effort involving various stakeholders. By implementing these measures, we can protect the biodiversity of India and ensure that future generations can enjoy the natural beauty of the country. India's flora and fauna are a testament to its diverse landscapes and climatic conditions. It is our responsibility to protect and conserve these species for future generations. By understanding the importance of our natural resources, we can ensure that India's biodiversity continues to thrive. Thank you for tuning into Witty Whispers. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informative. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. Join our little community of wisecrackers. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for sticking around and keep on whispering.